go first if sometimes you have issues with striking your pitch shots and you find yourself that you hit the ground before the golf ball then in this video we are covering a topic that is going to help you to lower your scores and have some really nice pitch shots first of all in Zala Springs is going to require you to hit a driver a second shot pretty long and then most of the time you're going to have a pitch shot like this one between 80 and 50 meters depending how long you hit the other two shots now on this hole most of the players are going to land their ball into that bunker because they are going to hit the ground before the ball so let's see what is the best way to avoid hitting the ground before the ball and making sure that you hit the ball first and you send it on the green to try to make a birdie most of the time when you can't strike the golf ball on a pitch shot means that you have a sequence issue so the hands are starting first in the downswing and then the chest turns but because the timing is wrong the club is going to hit the ground too early so whenever you do that the shot actually looks like this so you're going to make a backswing and then the hands start just a little bit but that's enough to compromise the shot and then from here it, if everything turns together you see i hit the ground before so this is the reason why you hit the ground before the golf ball so you see in both cases i managed to strike the ground before the golf ball now let me demonstrate your shot like this so you can see it in slow motion and you're gonna actually understand it a bit better there you have it this is how most of the time you hit your fat shots in a pitch shot so let's have a look at the swing let's see exactly what went wrong so let's go to the top of the back swing and now i'm gonna make the video play really slow so you can see it a tiny bit the hands are too quick compared to the rotation of the chest and in this way the hands are driving the club straight into the ground and as you could see the shot was set i managed to hit the ground as well before the golf ball and this is the reason why this shot happens now Let's see a nice drill that is going to sort this problem and is going to help you hit that ball really nice. For this drill, I want you to use a few golf balls and a few tees because I want you to put the golf balls on the tee so they are going to be a bit easier to strike. And I want you just to focus solely on the motion that you try to do. So if the hands are starting first, that means that the torso is not engaging quick enough or it's not engaging at all and the whole motion is driven by the hands so what i want you to do is first i want you to make a few practice swings where you take the normal setup and you're going to hold the club only with the trail arm so the left arm you're going to place it on the shoulder okay now from here you're going to make a back swing and you're going to feel like with your left hand you're going to pull your shoulder towards the target so that is going to be the feeling that the chest turns first and the hand is a bit lagging behind you and in this way the, sh the shoulder is going to be the first one let's say to hit the golf ball like that or it's going to be in line with the golf ball before the club head and in this way all we do we turn our torso to the target before we strike the golf ball now in this way the sequence should be solved so like that i'm gonna have the torso turning first and the hands a bit behind me and in this way i'm gonna be sure that i keep the momentum through the ball and i drag or pull the club through the hitting area okay now let's try the drill with a golf ball so you don't need to hit them full speed just try to feel that you make the back swing and then you turn with the torso to the target before you hit the ball let's give it a try so smooth slow back and turn through and i can see that the shot flew nice strike was good and actually i managed to break the t and that means that actually i brushed the cross really nice now let's try again i put the t now a bit lower so we try to have a progression from let's say one inch t to half an inch and then to no t and now i'll try the same so smooth swing and feel like I turn the chest to the target 
through the shot. And by using this, let's say, system, by lowering the tee after each shot, you're gonna end up hitting some shots with no tee and hitting them really nice off the grass. Now, after you tried a few times this drill, you should have a really good sensation of actually turning the chest first and let your hands or the trail arm behind in the backswing. Now, let's put both hands on the club. We're gonna make the backswing and I want you to feel that you turn the chest to the target before the club reaches the grass, okay? So that's gonna be the feeling that we want to use. So one more time, practice swing, have a nice feeling, and now let's give it a try with a golf ball. And this is how simple it is to create a really good shot in your pitch shot. You just have to make sure that the torso leads the motion in the backswing and in the downswing and the hands are just going to follow. So the hands are not the leading or not the engine of the motion, but the chest is. One more tip that you could use when you make this drill is this one. So when you make the backswing, you turn through, feel like you're pointing the right shoulder to the target. And that is going to ensure that you actually do a full turn and the chest goes through the ball, right? And that is for sure going to help you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to share with your friends, like the video, leave us a comment as well, and I'll see you next week at The Solution Golf.